In this video, we'll discuss how to properly prepare a sample for electron microscopy. Preparing a sample in general is not difficult, but there are a few tips and tricks that will make your life easier and your images better. To begin, ensure you have the proper supplies for preparing a specimen ready. You will need aluminum mounting pins, carbon stickers, a mounting pin holder, the SEM calibration device, the specimen stub and its associated screwdriver, latex or nitrile gloves, and any tools you may need to help prepare your specimen. This may include scissors, a scalpel, or tweezers. First, put on a pair of gloves. Though gloves are not necessarily essential, they will affect the validity of your EDX results from this machine. Start with an aluminum mounting pin. Peel the white backing off of a carbon sticker and press the specimen mount onto the exposed black carbon surface. Using both hands, peel the specimen mount with sticker attached from the clear plastic sticker sheet. Your mount is now ready for a specimen. Specimens may be added to the device whole. They also may require some level of preparation. Specimens that are too large to fit on a mounting pin will have to be cut or broken up in some way. A large leaf, for example, may have to be cut into smaller pieces. A rock may have to be split into chunks. Or you may have to cross-section an insect. Remember that this electron microscope only sees the surface of whatever specimen you're preparing. So make sure you're putting the side of the specimen you think is most interesting or most relevant face up. Then, secure the specimen to a mounting pin. If you have more than one specimen, or if the SEM is currently in use with other specimens, place your completed specimen mount in the mounting pin holder. When all of your specimens have been prepared, add up to five pins into the specimen stub. Secure the mounting pins to the stage by turning the small side screws gently. When all of your specimens are secure, place the specimen stub in the calibration device. Make sure all of your mounted specimens barely pass under the white roller. There should be about one millimeter of clearance. This is a crucial step to ensure your specimens are close enough to get a good image, but far enough away that they won't scratch the delicate instrumentation inside the SEM. If the EVAC LED on the front of the machine is solid yellow in color, pull gently on the specimen stage handle to open the unit. Put the specimen stub in the middle of the specimen stage assembly. Make sure the specimen stage is centered around the alignment mark. If it's not aligned, use the X and Y adjustment knobs on the outside of the specimen stage. This helps ensure the stage is centered when you begin using the microscopy software. Close the specimen stage and press the evac button while holding the handle firmly. It should start to blink blue and eventually become a solid blue color. Once it is, you're finally ready to go. For more information on how to use the SEM and EDX software, take a look at the videos we've prepared for you on those topics. This video was made possible by grant funding received through Alberta Innovates.